Fossil fuel emissions have become one of the most severe problems we face. 87% of all carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere is caused by fossil fuel usage. 85% of energy in the US is fossil fuels. Since all fossil fuels are non-renewable, we will need to change, and that's where solar power comes in. New Hampshire gets 44% of its energy from nuclear plants and 41% from coal and natural gas, fossil fuels. We prefer solar power to other renewable sources because the state of New Hampshire will benefit the most from it. This is because solar power is more cost efficient than other renewable energies and is easy to implement into a community. There are 16 solar gardens in New Hampshire and they are expanses of space aimed to provide renewable energy to a specific area. Companies like New Hampshire Solar Gardens are responsible for the construction and maintenance of the garden. They also lease the land. The startup capital of building a solar garden comes from federal grants and over time this investment will pay off. If a group of subscribers does not use up the electricity being produced by the solar garden, the extra electricity will go back to the grid if the community receives money from it. A subscribed group of 25 houses could save up to 2300 annually from having electricity generated from one solar garden at a rate of roughly 230,000 kilowatts per hour. The number adds up over the years and will eventually pay off the cost of the construction of the solar garden itself within its expected lifespan of 30 years. Soul Connection aims to gather marketing information that will help solar companies know where potential subscribers are. Such information is expected to be collected by students and other volunteers and will be available for businesses to purchase. In order to test if our business model will be successful, our research team surveyed people ourselves and came up with positive results. We went to Whole Foods in Bedford and, with permission, stood outside and asked if people liked the idea of community solar gardens in their town. Those who talked to us were interested in the idea once it was explained to them. I contacted the head of New Hampshire Solar Gardens and discussed the marketing strategies for his company. He used his own website and the general news for locating his customers. He stated that using a local town as an anchor was pivotal to their development process. I reported to him the concept of our business, and he said it would be very useful for developing companies to hire. I told him about our trip to Whole Foods, and he said that it was very useful data. He also stated that the more in-depth our marketing data analysis is, the more we could charge for it.